I first learned of Hawaii Canyon just about a year ago. Been dreaming about coming here ever since. But it was actually events starting about three years ago that led to me coming here. I was in Olympic National Park in Washington, camping in a tent in the whole forest. And the uh, site next to me was a couple with a cute little 13 foot scamp trailer. A couple of sites over was a off road style teardrop trailer. I was a bit jealous in my tent. So as soon as I got home, I poured over the internet, YouTube, started researching scamp trailers, teardrop trailers. And I came across the channel Playing With Sticks and their video comparing scamps and teardrops and why drops were better. It was that video that solidified my decision to get a teardrop, an off-road style of teardrop, which I eventually did. And I kept watching YouTube videos for pointers, ideas, tips. And uh, came across Primal Outdoors and Jason with his channel. And the uh, YouTube algorithms then led me to another channel called Soft Roading the West. And Donald with his Subaru. Maybe one, one of his videos where I would first see Hawaii Canyon. It's funny how things work out. And here I am. This is my story of my stay. Hi right, folks. We're uh, filling up here at Rome. Got some extra gas and uh, heading out into the uh, back country now. I feel like it's kind of a rite of passage. Yep. I don't know if we're, we're going to be able to make it out there. The weather is really um, rainy and uh, I'm not sure how, how bad the mud and conditions are going to be out there. So we're going to give it a look and uh, make a decision and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens.
This is an experiment we're going to try. When they say when you buy it, right, that is do this, do that. I've never cooked on a wood stove before, but we're gonna give it a go. Do it, make sure it is out.
Well, that was a bit of excitement. We had a big old black uh, thunderstorm roll through. I was uh, sitting here having fun with my uh, wood-burning stove experiment, and and uh, look up and see that big black cow coming. And, uh, that don't look good, so started uh, stowing everything away, and and sure enough, that thing rolled in, and and what happened was the uh, seam on the awning started to fail again on, on a different spot on this one corner over here so I unzipped the the wall kit and uh, let it drop to the ground it's drying out now but uh, yeah here's the here's the seam on the corner that started to fail I, uh, Kick myself for not reinforcing the two corners when I when I did the two center points, and uh, so now we're gonna have to do it in the field. So uh, I'll be able to put the wall kit up just two panels and use those. We'll pick up some thread and a needle and uh, sew up that little rip there again and. Reinforce it with some nylon uh, strapping like I did the other points And it'll be okay. I should have done that earlier Live and learn It was <laughs> Quite exciting though, and now it's Beautiful day again. It was a beautiful day and then All of a sudden it wasn't and now it is again It's Oregon for you, I guess Gotta love it is such a beautiful view. Anyway, folks, I gotta clean up this mess and uh, pick up this wall kit, fold it up, and and uh, try and do a field repair on that uh, awning. See you later.
Look at running. 